Hey friends and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how you can fix the printer driver installation error. Driver was not installed or not available in your system. Let's go ahead and proceed. First of all, you need to open your settings menu. You need to choose the troubleshoot option over here. Click on it and here click on other troubleshooters. Here you will find the troubleshooter with the name printer. Click on this run option to run the printer troubleshooter in your system. If this doesn't work out, the second method you can do is to click on the start menu and type run. In run application, type services.msc and then hit the enter key. Here you need to find a service with the name print spooler. So press the P key to find the service. Here is print spooler. You need to double click to open it and stop the service at once. Once it is stopped, leave it as it is and open this PC. C drive, Windows, System32 folder. And here find a folder with the name spool. Here it is. Open it and here you will find the folder with the name printer. You need to right click on it and delete the folder. Once it is deleted, close it and now again restart the service. After that, restart your system and check if it is working or not. Now the problem still persists. The next method you can do is to again open C drive, Windows folder, System32 folder. Now in System32, here in search bar, type MSC ms.dll and hit the enter key. Here is the file you found. You need to right click on this file and choose the option copy. Once copied, again head over to your C drive, Windows, System32 folder again. Here find spool folder and here open driver folder. If you have a 64 bit operating system, then you need to open x64 folder, open folder number 3 and paste the file over here. If it is asking, simply replace the file. Now if you have a 32 bit operating system, then you need to open this w32x86 folder. Open again folder with the name 3 and paste the file over here. Now close the folder and restart your system and check if the problem is persist or not. If it is still there, next method you can do is to click on start menu and open control panel. In control panel, choose device and printer. And here whatever printer is available in front of you, you need to right click on it and choose the option remove device. Once it is removed, now click on the option add a printer. Click on the last option which is the printer that I was not is not listed. Choose the last option which is add a local printer and hit next button to continue. Now choose create a new port and type of port choose as standard. Click on the next button to continue. Now in host name or IP address provide the IP address of your printer which will be easily available when you open the settings of your printer. So you need to type the address like this forward slash two times and then the printer address. Suppose it would be like this. This is the IP address of my printer. Once it is done, click on the next button to continue installing the printer in your system. My printer is not connected. That's why it is giving that the device or printer was not found. But at your end, you will find the printer which is available in your system. After that, Restart your system and check if it is working or not. Now if all the method fail, the last method you can do is to click on the start menu and type run. In run application, type print management.msc and hit the enter key. Now here you will find a folder with the name all drivers. Double click to open all the drivers available. You need to select all of them and then right click and then choose the option delete.
once deleted right click on start menu and choose the option device manager here find your printer devices right click on the printer device and choose the option update driver now choose the first option which is search automatically for driver once installed close it once it is done your problem will be fixed out for sure so this is all about it friends if this video works out for you i request you to please click on the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell icon to continue receiving more such updates from my channel thank you so much friends thank you for watching